Hello guys, today I'm going to be doing two, two, two DIY kits that came in my Japan candy box today. So I'm going to be doing two DIY kits that came in the, um, the my, my Japan candy box today. I'll be doing the... Um, the beer, this is a kid's beer, it is edible, these are, these are the instructions on the back, you put the powder in a cup, then you put the water in the cup, and then you put the, then it, then it foams up. And this is the kids' beer. It says so. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little description so you guys can, can kind of hear. hear. Wargaki, which translates to which is naughty kids. Beer is an easy to make powder drink. It is gold slash yellow in color, and the top floats up like a real beer, but has a sweet ramen type flavor. Follow the instructions below to get your naughty on, and it gives us the English instructions right here. Just like Japan Crate does, but this is not Japan Crate, but, good, but it gives us the English instructions. So we have those right here, and this is what it says, in case you guys want to see it for yourself. I'm not making that up, that, that's what it says. So today we'll be doing this. So we'll be doing that one, the kids' beer, and we'll, be, we'll also be doing the ice cream kit that I've seen a lot of people do on YouTube, and I, I've been wanting to try it. So here is what the beer kit looks like you can read that in, in, in case you guys want to then this is what the ice cream kit looks like pretty simple i could have got it in the strawberry flavor but i got mine i think in the ramen flavor and it's pretty simple all that you do is each these kits are these easy to make mini diy candy ice cream sets come in strawberry and soda flavors okay this is soda i thought it was raw ramen but soda Feature three mini candy ice cream cones and the ingredients and tools to make your soft serve your soft serve come to life. And, and then the, this one's pretty easy. You just pour, pour the powder in and then the water and then you put the ice cream on. The little powder ice cream on. Um, and the cones are almost like star foam almost. But this is the instruction. So, 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 so in today's video, we'll, we'll be making both of these. Let's start off by making... So basically we have a little... We have a... We have a something to eat, which is ice cream, and a drink to wash it down, which is kids' beer. So let's move on and let's read them. Okay, so anyway, here's in case you guys want to read it. So that's really cool. So, so we'll be doing both of those today. And the reason I'm following that is because I can't read Japanese. So, um,. Yeah, usually the ones that, that come in Japan crate, the DIY kits are actually easy to follow. These are kind of hard to follow, but I can, I'm pretty sure I'm going to understand this one without having to look at the pamphlet. But in case I do have to look, it's right here. And then I also have the soda. So, let, so let's make the, can, the dessert slash candy first, and then we'll move on to making the drink. So put the drink aside, and we're going to make the ice cream first. So... It comes with three cones. Making beers and ice cream. So it seems pretty simple on the back. You just put, put, put the powder in the tray. It's a plastic tray. Then you put the water in and then you stir and you get a little, a little whipped um, ice cream kind of. So let's make this kit first before you make the beer. So let's open this up. So it's a plastic tray. Okay. Pretty fun, pretty fun. So it just comes out like this. So you get a little, a small spoon. Like, I mean, this is like so small. So you get a small spoon like this. It's pretty small. But this is what it looks like. It is plastic. So it's probably not going to last that long. But it's it's not for actual human consumption. It's just to eat the ice cream. So there's that. It is plastic. Can you guys hear that? And then you also get three little ice cream cones. These almost feel, I think, not feel like, I think are going to taste like styrofoam, but not exactly like styrofoam. But you get three different cones. And um, these are what they look like. They're little mini cones. 
and you get three of them, and you just fill them with the ice cream frosting stuff. So you get three little ice cream cones. So, I'm just making sure that there's nothing else in the in the bag. If, I think this fell out, but anyway. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be easier to fall in the instructions. And then you get the powder. This is just um, this is I this is just soda flavored powder, I think. But this is but this is the powder. It's it is powder, and it feels like little powder almost. So this this is powder, and we're gonna pour the powder in the tray. This tray is flimsy, like like can you guys see that? How flimsy this this is? Like this is this is legit plastic. This is legit plastic, and it it can probably break in like a matter of seconds, depending on how hard you do this. Or dent it or whatever. So be very careful with this tray because because it, because it's what you're gonna be making your your food or your or your dessert in. Um, but it's like a it's like a plastic tray. This is what it looks like. So anyway, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pour the powder in there. I'm reading it on here and I'm also reading it on here. So it says you have to open the powder um such satchel and empty components into tray provided okay yeah so i was basically right they basically just open this and pour it into here so i have this and i'm gonna pour it into this tray right here so okay it doesn't really smell like anything yet so i'm gonna So it's basically just a yeah. So this is the bag of powder. It's basically, just it's basically just just soda powder. So this is the the tray, and it's filled with the powder. I'm gonna just kind of even, even it out. Now the tray is is pretty flimsy. So now I'm going to get the water and I'm just going to pour it into there. 10 milliliters of, of water it says, but I'm going to go a little bit more than that. So. It does say 10 milliliters, but I'm not measuring it out. I'm just gonna use it and use it in a cup. Um, so I'm not gonna measure it. I just put it like that. But anyway, next it says to put water in right there. So I'm gonna do that. Um, it says add around 10 